As our friends, welcome. We're playing some more standard. We're playing a pretty cool little brewski here. Uh, I found on the MTG Arena, MTG Arena, MTG Magic Online deck dump, played by Lucas Sarong. Might be saying that wrong if I am, sorry. You're saying it wrong. Um, this is a Jeskai Humans deck. And uh, we've seen like Boros Humans before, Mono White Humans, but this deck is splashing four copies of Kite Sail Larcenus. This card's actually insane. Uh, it's a really, really good card. Uh, but, like, it's obviously in a weird color because, like, there aren't that many, like, blue decks that, like, want this effect where you want a creature-based removal spell. Uh, but this is a deck that does want that. And there's just a bunch, bunch of easy ways to play it, obviously. You already have four Cavernous Souls and you have four Courtyards on Human anyway. So now, like, casting this card is almost trivial. Between the Cavern Souls and the Courtyards and a few Secret 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 Coast also. We're actually, like, a little light on sources here. It's only 10. Uh, I made a few slight changes to the deck. Um, what is going on here? Jesus Christ. Um, so let's, uh... Let's actually add a, let's add a coast. Add a coast and cut a uh, cut a sundown pass. So well, one more blue source, and then uh, otherwise just kind of Boris aggro. You know, we get the Adelines, you got the uh, the Ammon Ammon Packles or whatever they're called. Uh, Beatdowns, Coppergo Vanguard, Thalia, Inti, and yeah, just lay the beats. Do the thing, all right. So let's uh, lay some beats and uh, get right to the games. Brought to you by Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. All right, on the play, chat coming out in me. No one drop. We have Bivouac. Sure, we can do this Got the Copper Coat Vanguard. Ow. Dude. I messed my finger up playing basketball like two months ago, and it just like never healed. It just hurts. It sucks. Like, whenever, now whenever I snap, it hurts. I'm old, man. Being old sucks. You know what makes you feel better, though? When folks uh, like, comment, subscribe. Do the things. All right? So if you're sick of getting old and you want to support a fellow old guy, hit that like button. Support the content. Name human. Here's Copper Coat Vanguard. Probably going to die, but... All right, so no, uh, no one drop, and they have a battlefield forge and a a, a one one bunicorn. Doesn't get more pathetic than that. All right, so I guess we're gonna Larson this stick. We just want to like make a play this turn anyway. Otherwise, we're just playing specialist as like a four two life link, which isn't that bad actually. Um, this is like the worst convoke draw of all time, I guess. Like, if they are playing invoke, it's very unlikely this will die. Except in combat. Uh, so I kind of should just play this as a, a 4 2 lifelinker. Just save this for, uh, for bigger fish. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Looks a little weird, but. What's up, Krusty? Some moisturizer on it? My finger? Why would that help? Evangelist. Alright, so. Now we're wide. And now it's the bad trade. This looks. Alright, so you can Larson us down the Bunnicorn. And attack. That sucks. That's like the worst case scenario. Like a, a two power thing can block really well. Um, I got bats for days. Hold on. All right. Uh, so let's put counters on things. I can just like not offer the trade, but then I can't attack at all. Oh man, this is awkward. All right, so. We're not gonna do our thing. We're gonna hit this thing. The attacks are like kind of just bad, because trading with this thing at all is bad. I mean, we trade with both of these maybe. Maybe like putting counters and specials is kind of cool actually. Ah, eh, screw it. I'm gonna do a stack. Iceberg says he can do keep in touch with all the, all the old SG guys like Brad, Caleb, or Cedric. Um, I mean Cedric and Pat a little bit. Uh, not a lot of other ones, unfortunately, but gain some life. They get a bat. Play bivouac. So they go. Got the whack attack. It's crazy to think those SCG days are like almost a decade behind me now at this point. It's just like insane. Uh, they just say go. Man, their hand is like, what the hell is in their hand? Like, it's awful. I mean, our hand's not great either, but. Alright, so we're gonna. We can't bivouac off these lands. We need to play the, uh,. A land we can be whack off of us, so. Thought that was my coalesce boss. Hold on here. Hold on a second. I don't work for coalesce. Uh-huh. 
And they don't sponsor me, unfortunately, anymore. So, I mean, but me, me and Sid are good friends, though. He used to be my boss at Star City back in the day, but no longer my boss. We could, like, soak us on here. We could, like... Like, what are they doing? Like, it's just so hard to place they have in their hand. They could have it a Ganjo, I guess. Um... I'm gonna soak us on. And just like attack with the two tokens, I think. They have a Ganjo and kill my Larsa, it sucks. Trading here is kinda bad too. I'm just like to you know, offer us bad trade, whatever. Just to go. Thanks, AK. I think Ganjo makes sense. Take two, sure. That's great for us. Reinforcements, that makes sense too, I guess. So make some tokens. It's got Ward 1. Oh, Ward 2, actually. I'm sorry, because of the Vanguard. You're right. This could have attacked. I forgot the Ward from the uh, the Vanguard. So I missed three points there, I guess. But that's fine. So far, all they're, uh, all they're playing is Stinkers. And we just keep drawing Cavernous Souls. Sure. Uh... Just got a jam, I guess. I mean, let us on human... Fire up a bivouac. And like, what do we pump here? I mean, bivouac, token, token, attack. Whenever you attack, put a counter on a creature you control. I could pump a non-attacker, obviously, too. Um, now, if they have a Gandra, they can kill the Larsenist. Freeing up the bunny corn is a pretty big deal, actually. I guess I have a second one, but... We can go like here, 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 here. Put a counter on. What the hell's in their hand? There's so many cards in their hand, right? Just such a weird little uh, conundrum here. Put the counter on the, the bivouac itself. Not that we need to say. Actually, I guess we can't, can't even activate second bivouac. Sure, let's just, let's just do this. Put a counter here. What do you got? Blow me out. I'm here for it. Just Guy Humans, if you're just tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name is Jim. Again, Pro Magic Player, full-time content creator. And, uh, hi. Appreciate your support. We're going to quad block the freaking bivouac. I agree with these blocks. That is fine. Party block. God, I'm smart. All right. They had the again jump. They're, actually, they're going to lose a bunch of corn anyway, so... This is, this is actually insane for us, right? We just, like, got to FTK their thing anyway. Alright, I mean, we, trade, we just traded a land for three things, and they killed our thing that FTK'd their thing. So... Alright. Sure. Uh, still can't activate Bivouac, which all, all, all you can draw is Cavernous Souls. I mean, this is pretty annoying that, like, we're just kind of, that their, their draw has been so bad, and we're just, like, not really getting anywhere. Trades are good, though, because obviously their tokens are better than ours. They have, like, possibly anthems, convoke cards, so on and so forth, so. Just play Thalia. I'm going to play this, because there's no point having it in my hand. If I draw a land, I can play Bibbowack, or I can Bibbowack and Larsenist. Another 1-1's army, sure. We got 3-1 Thalia here. Ward 1 and first strike. There's two absolutely rancid draws in both of our decks. Speaking of rancid draws. Uh, okay. Have I seen the Demir Prof's Edetic Memory deck? Literally just played it. Look for it on YouTube. Attack for 3. That's why you gotta always be here all the time. Every minute of every day. If I'm alive, you gotta be here. You might miss it. You know? You might, might miss it. It happens. All right, so they're going to six mana train troops. That's pretty bad for us, actually. Uh, a tiny Sith Lord in the bathroom. We draw Inti, which is a pretty good draw. Uh, let's just Inti here. And send in our Thalia. Or we're going to Larson as something, probably, just to like keep make this uh, recruiter attack not so bad anymore. But let's see what we draw, obviously, too. So here comes Thalia. Discard. We get trample now too, which is gas. Let's put a counter here. 
We need a land? God, man. Come on. It's a land that can activate the big black at least, so. Adam Anthony, every step. Thanks so much. Alright, I guess. I mean, it will kill my Thalia, but at what cost, you know? Alright, so we kill two, uh, two, two, twos or whatever. And then we lose Thalia. Uh, and now, we're just gonna cast... Do I need to cast this Larsenist? So they have, they could like, Yoshi and whatever, Imidane's Recruiter... I guess just having a 2-3 blocker in place, but it's also a flying attacker, too. Yeah, sure, let's cast it. Whatever, sure. Cast this thing. Just hit. I don't know. This, I guess. Whatever. We have this freaking bivouac, also. We have trample on this thing, so... Alright, cool. Yeah, really weird game, right? Both decks just, like, didn't really do much. Um, we're gonna bring in our End the Festivities. And we're gonna bring in our... Maybe Lantern Flares... Specialist is like, things don't die that often. Uh, Knight, Thalia's. Is reason to cut a Thalia? I'm going to shave a Shave a Thalia. Shave a Specialist, maybe. I mean, our, our officers are really bad. We, like, need to keep a number of one drops in our deck, but, like, these are pretty awful against all their uh, Elder One ones. Um, that being said, though, like, we kind of need to, like, have creatures, so... And leave this guy in. Wait, what? Leave it Thalia and just cut two and two officers. Do I want Lantern Flare? I don't think so. They didn't play any Warriors Call that game. Not every not every not every Boros deck plays them. Um We're gonna go here. We'll board more if we see more of their deck. Oh my god. Ugh. Alright, Mulligan. Man, stinky hands. All the way down. Alright, so. Hopefully, this game, if they just have a stones, so they just like turn to us. And we'll just waste their good, their good hand. What's up, Dream Dota? First time chatter. What's a hi to Dream Dota? Any chance I'll try out the the Demir combo, the, the Teamer combo deck? I played that deck two weeks ago in a cool stuff video. So if you want to watch my content, you would have already been in the know. All right, uh, check out CoolStuffInc.com. I played it like two weeks ago. Their name Human. Let's play the value, I guess. Here's reinforcements. So no, no, not no, not draw. Sounds good, Dota. That's why you can't miss a can't miss a thing. You gotta watch everything. Put all those notifications on. Sub all those channels. Hit all those buttons. Do all those things. Never miss a thing. I don't want to close my eyes. I don't want to fall asleep. Because I miss a stream. <laughs> Crack a clue is good for us. Four cards in hand, but no good attacks. We draw... Oh, my... Eh, it's not even that good, actually. Only kills two things. Um, Alright. I mean, like... Inti... Attack isn't even that good. I guess we use Inti, right? To discard this freaking Thalia. Yeah. Right, let's play Inti and attack. A little aggro if they have like a... You know, some sort of like aggressive play on their turn, but... Right, that sucks. Didn't hit a card we can hit. It take three. We just play a... Uh, I was on human and say go. Goodbye. Goodbye, Larsenist. Andy is good, but our curve is a little high. It makes it a little awkward, too. So, curve's great, though. All right, yeah, that, that was the worst-case scenario. Uh, all right, sure. They get to kill my thing, attack for a bunch. They win their case. I would have gotten away with it if it weren't for those meddling kids. We draw Adeline. All right, so we can just... Now we should have festivities, I think, just to kill two things. So now they're all relevant, so... She like, land, vanguard, festivities... 
and then hope Allie can do the thing. I guess it was the worst case scenario. I guess they go with Thalia on defense. So, Adeline next turn can start the snowball. Work in that regard. They got three cards left. Alright. Looking for a whiff here, please. Like, only like one creature. That was not a whiff. Okay. End of festivities, number two. Alright, so here's Adeline. She's got a jam, right? Just get it for four, make a token. Sure. I'm in. They just block it, obviously, but, like, getting for four is pretty cool. So, I get it for four. Now we're at 11. None of their board particularly, uh... Or the cards in their hand, like, press the board, so... Cavern human. If they go, creature, creature... I mean, he's a recruiter. I'll be very sad. But, what are you gonna do? All right, so case number two. You boys canvas for witnesses, establish a time frame and motive, and bring me a suspect. It's like not great for us, but pump this thing up. I mean, they can't attack and win the case now, which is cool. I think we're pretty dead, though. Uh, kill two things. Attack. It's actually a, a huge attack. We have to kill this thing, too. Actually, it might be okay here. Oh, they can just go in the air and kill us, though. Uh, that's gross. Because next turn, Mage Pump and kills in the air. Ugh. Yeah, they were dead. Uh, yeah, whatever. Maybe they'll miss it. Maybe they won't see it. Alright, so Vanguard, attack. It is lethal. They have to block, but... They actually need a creature, I guess, right? They, they need any creature to pump this up one more time and kill me. So they're at three. I'm at five. I'm just dead to it. No, I have two buggers, yeah, so. Of course you should fight fire what? <laughs> that is a creature. That did work, I guess. Uh, Alright, game three. Not too bad, though. I mean, ball in our hand wasn't great, and then we still were in the game, so. Alright. On the play, hand is... It's it's awkward, but I think still good. Um, we have festivities, which is nice also. Tap land is pretty crappy. I think we're just going to play a tap land on turn one. Yeah. So, just like play a tap land. Maybe play Vanguard to keep our festivities cheap. Here's Epicure. That's so much better than, uh, than Inspector is for us. Or Thalia. So now if I... I actually don't want to Thalia because that will slow down the festivities and their draw too and I want them to, to play their thing next turn. So let's play Copper. Should I just play, play, play Andy? Play Andy and Sega. They just Sega. So they have the Raise the Alarm. Uh, that is fine. We attack. We're going to discard Thalia. Even though it kind of makes it obvious we're not playing the Thalia, but... Put a counter. Exile top card. It's a Recruiter. That's actually pretty good. That conceals our Thalia pretty well. Just go Recruiter and, and, and Inspector and say go. Alright, so... Officer, Inspector, go. You disappoint me. They go Detective. raise the alarm. As long as I don't go untap Anthem, but I don't think they're playing the Anthem, so. So here's the reinforcements. That's kind of like the rub of this card. It's insane against them, unless they're playing the Anthem. In which case, it's like insane half a time and bad half a time. Ugh. Look at these weird, weird, I don't know where sideboard cards. They're going to play Anointed Peacekeeper and name End the Festivities. All right. We draw a land. We're casting it. We didn't draw a land. Um, now I think I just want to fire in for an attack. The problem is they might just try and trade off their 1-1s now. Because I have this. Um, we need to draw a land, though. 
Would I trade? I, I trade trade NT for this thing. So let's stack with the NT. Stack with NT. We'll discard. I think just Thalia. Honestly, just want land. Hopefully, it's not a land. Um. Take the four. Just gotta keep playing stuff. Like it's obviously a little off curve and stuff, but you know, they're twelve. We're pretty wide. Our inti's growing. So we're a game of cat and mouse with a stupid. What is going? What? Are, how do they play all these cards? We're an aggro deck. They're boarding in all their, their anti-control cards. All right, you got it. This thing costs a thousand. We're not playing it. Right? I understand. I mean, now we just beat them down, right? We just, like, try and play Vanguard and just kind of get in. Like, our attacks aren't bad. We can add counters to the Hopeful Initiate. Our anti attack's pretty good. All right, draw land. So... All right. So this is going to grow. This will be a 3-3. Three, three. Trading here is not great, but whatever, I guess. Could you like this and like grow an inspector? Am I discarding or no is the question. I guess I have to discard to grow, right? So, sure. A weird game. All right, let's stack. Training, discard, soak is on. Hopefully we reveal land to be great for us. Put the counter on the inspector, so we have all three power creatures. We draw a specialist, which sucks. That would have been a great draw to naturally draw. Alright, so they're going to double block the Inti. Do I want my... Do I kill this Warden, or do I want my get my festivities down to three mana? Very interesting game. Lots of tough calls like across the entire game. Um, they're going to th they're going to six here. I think the warden's scarier, honestly. I think you just like play around the uh, the thing. So let's do this. We have a second vanguard too, so we can just like pump the whole squad up and attack for a bajillion. Yeah, this card, this, this card's, and, then, and once they, like, know that this card's here, too, like, is ever playing to it, they can just, like, kind of not play into it, so. That was gross. How do they have room for all these cards? It's like, it's so, so, so tight, usually. Alright, so here's an extraction specialist. This thing can't attack or block, though. Like, are our attacks even good anymore? Trading with Specialist is very bad. Uh, we attack with everything but the Copper Coat. We trade with Specialist and Peacekeeper. We get in for a shot, but, like, they gain three and other Wardens. For you can still kill everything, though, right? Eh, just freaking attack. I'm going to do here. You know, let me just... Let's get it go. You figure it out. Everything has to block. We lose two things. They lose two things. The Warden's free, but there's very few things to tap for it. Alright. Down to three. It's funny. Now FSTV is actually good. Because now they have these two blockers, and now we're down to three mana, so... Drawing land isn't too bad either. They top a card. Don't like that. We draw the land. I mean... Just kill them all, right? Didn't think it was going to matter. Maybe it actually did. Send it. They have another Razio on here. It would suck, but whatever. They have a flanker. What? How? Did they like... Shuffle their whole sideboard in by accident? What the hell is going on? 
Like, how do you have a peacekeeper and an invasion and a flanker and a and a specialist in against me? Like, the Nisdegos is so tight. What is happening? All right. We draw a Knight Errant also. We can't use it yet, though. God damn it. All right. Just keep playing, I guess. Like, what is going on? All right. Why won't you die? This is not good. Um, we don't have any good attacks. Like, I have to. Yeah. All right. I guess. All right. <sighs> We do have an end of festivities left, that is true. Uh, draw a courtyard. So we get to... It's funny, Adeline's like close to killing them, but not quite. Um, just Knight Errand, I guess. We gotta want Knight Errand for three, though. So our deck's just full threes. Like, we don't have that many ones and twos, realistically. We've already cast a lot of ones and twos also. Gross. 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 They aren't one, so, like, they need to be a little careful with their attacks and stuff. Even they have this, like, light shield array going, which is kind of annoying. They can't tap too much stuff either. Like, they want to grow their ward one more time, but, like, I guess they can, right, with the Epicure. Epicure. No, they can't, really. They risk dying, too. Oh, my God. That was a good drop. Uh, sure. All right, so they have five blockers. Let me draw a bit of whack. Uh, all right. Not a very good tap, but sure. We are adding a lot of attackers. So obviously, like, they, they can't... Now we have seven attackers next turn. So... But they have, like, a million blockers, too. So I, I don't know. Again, we're playing Jeskai Humans. They're playing Boros Convoke. Our decks are pretty different. We have one Festivities. Um, this might be our... I mean, if they play carefully, it's probably our only out. Anti doesn't give Trample. So we do have, we do have a Trampling Adeline, but they have obviously have some big creatures in play too, so... Okay. Brick, 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 brick. God damn it. Come on. Give me the miracle festivities. This party's over. The cops are here. Gonna shut it down. Did they board out their imminent recruiters? I mean, they somehow found room for all of these cards, so maybe they must have, right? We got some looks, and again, they we we have seven attackers, so they need to have seven blockers. So better nine. 
All right. First ball up is a Cavern of Souls. So, again, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They actually have eight blockers. I think it's just festivities or bust here, folks. They have six, they have seven toughness. They have so much toughness for the, the Adeline. The trample doesn't even matter. All right, here we go, folks. First ball up. It's not in the festivities. Our next chance is to discard Inti. Um, that's really it, honestly. So we attack with one thing. And then... Uh, I mean, maybe I don't, they don't realize how to trample. That'd be cute. Should I just Leroy? And just like hope they screw up? Because like, if our only out is to draw festivities anyway, Leroy gives us the best chance to... I oh, on. I can play the Amon, whatever. That makes this bigger, too. So let's play Cavern of Souls, cast this, leaving up one red, discard the Seachrome Ghost. And that way we have, like, a bunch more counter, a bunch more creatures in play. So we actually have a pretty large Trampling Adeline. So, yeah. So let's go Human. This thing. So we have two outs here. We have the They Punt out. And the festivities off of Inti out. Bad timing on the thing. No! Alright. Now it's just they punt out. Nine power trampling Adeline, but they just need to not be dumb here, basically. This game was really close, too. I was like, look how close to the dead, being dead they are here. You know, like, with our extra attackers and stuff, too. Like, with them being at one life, they're going to block, like, exactly... Yeah, they have exactly enough blockers to live. So, they were, like, that... They were that close to being dead. That's sick. 7, 8, 9. Yep, they have exactly enough to block... And then the question is, do they have lethal on the swing back? Uh, I think so. Maybe not, actually. We're killing the largest warden. Oh, they have this thing, right? This thing even instructable. Never mind. So, yeah, yeah. They're, we're, just, we're just dead. Let them figure it out, I guess. But right, They got us. All right. GG. Tough game. Just couldn't close it out, unfortunately. I had the wrong button. Oh man. Alright. Let's try it again. Hand is good. It's good. You draw land, but vents. Alright, we draw land. Sick. Alright. Officer it is. Do I enjoy the the larger standard pool? This standard's phenomenal. Um I think that if you ask me in a vacuum, if I preferred large standard or small standard, I would probably prefer a smaller one. But that being said, this has been an absolutely unbelievable... This is like the best standard it's been like in over a decade, possibly longer. The standard format is insane. Every two weeks there's a new deck. Everything's playable. It's been awesome. They take a Copper Coat Vanguard. Sure. Got two of those. That's kind of no big deal. Let's get it in. So, 17... Unfortunately, Larcenus does not actually kill the bat. So if we Larcenus the bat, it's still in play. Therefore, we do not get to our, get our card back, which kind of sucks, but... Standard's made a full 180. Couldn't agree more. We gotta save this for better things, I think, so... Unfortunately, we've drawn, we've drawn like five lands here, which really sucks, so we are probably into doo-doo, but... Make a thing and attack. Let's crack the clue end step. Try to draw a spell or two. It sucks we have all, all these freaking... Uh, Adeline's in our deck, and we just can't really find them. These should be really good here, though. This should be probably somewhat hard, honestly. Um, it's like good mid range deck against creatures. That's a good target for my Larsons, obviously, so. Fool says, How long have I been playing Magic for? Way too long. A bajillion years. Since before you were born, probably. Um. <laughs> 
2001, 7th edition. Check out the website, jimdavismtg.com. I have my, my info page on there. I don't discuss it much, but I have a page. It's a lot of date, but... All right, so we're just going to kill this thing, obviously. Uh, we're just going to play our pass and our larcenist attack. Make this thing into a treasure. I'm um, 50, so probably not. All right, you got me. All right, you got me. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Feels like a million years. Here is Archfiend of the Dross. That thing is huge. We draw a Ganjo, which actually isn't too bad. Um, we go Human. Copper Coat Vanguard. And then, like, do we just jam? We kind of got to kill this thing, right? We talk about everything, and it's a Ganjo down the Archfiend. They get back their 2-4. That sucks. I know these do. It's, like, pretty transparent, I think, but whatever. Oh, I sacked it. I'm, I'm, I, I screwed up. I, I'm sorry. I was talking. I missed the tap land, sacked the thing, and they should have four lands in play. So I just assume they cast it. Uh, you're right. I screwed up. I'm dumb. You're smart, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Take our two for one here. It's off a of land. They get a twelve. We go to sixteen. Missed three points of damage there. It sucks. They probably would have blocked this though. This is, this is a better, uh, a better attacker anyway. So, unfortunately, we're just flooded here. We just lost our mana thing too, but so. If they're the more aggro version of this deck, it's better for us. If they're playing the more grindy version, it could be worse. That's a rush. A really good draw. So, awesome draw there. Like, phenomenally good draw. Let's ship this thing right away and do our thing. Bingo. We find uh, a specialist, an almond, and a larcenist. We can return copper coat vanguard, which is gas. I would say kite sail larcenist, not necessary at the moment. They have a harvester that can kill some things or whatever, honestly. Just get these things, yeah. Uh, get these things, and then we play the Specialist immediately. They can obviously kill something, which is fine. I could plan to Specialist back the Officer instead and try and get some value. Um... Interesting. Play this if they just kill it. So it's kind of just like, they're going to kill one thing with Harvester. How bad is that for us? You know, like, what and what do we want them to kill? Would I rather have this guy in play or rather have the... I'm going to play this thing. I'm going to play this thing. I'm going to get the... Uh, I'm going to get... If I get the other Vanguard, it costs two to kill things, too. Like, I don't want to, like... So it's just things, are you trying to beat down or grind? I'll just beat down. Just get Vanguard. So now everything has Ward 2. Like, this thing's going to pop off next turn. Everything has a bunch of power. Yeah, they're the Inti version, which is, is, is bad for us. If they were, like, the bigger, like, Carnosaur version, that would be bad. But they can, like, bat an Inti here. But whatever. We're talking for a million next turn, so. Discard an Inti. Trigger stuff. They find a land. Whatever. They were good here, folks. Probably got a Leroy on tap for next turn. Just kidding. There won't be a next turn, I guess. Game. All right. So, Blouses. them being the more aggro version of the Arachnos mid-range deck is very good for us because they're just playing more crappy creatures and less removal spells. Um, that being said, what's coming in here? Maybe not much. Like, the Larsenists aren't great against them, uh, but they're certainly uh, they're still pretty good. I think these Destroy Evils should probably come in. I think the initiate can go. Thalia is also kind of whatever. Just bring like two destroy evils. We gotta kill Shieldred, the 6 6, <laughs> 2 4. Oh my god. Alright, so um, yeah, we want a few destroy evils. Uh, I kind of want one more destroy evil, honestly. I just don't know about cut. Thalia seems. I'm just cut Thalia. Let's do this. Alright, let's go. Hand is pretty good. I'm in. Let's do it. Keep. Pause mulligans. It's so funny how far Savannah Lions has come. 
Savannah Lions was the Stones back in mid-age. One mana, two, one. Unbelievable. And now we have this, like, one mana, two, one with a sick mana sync ability, but just, like, barely playable. You know, like... Power creep, let me tell you. Mountain go. We draw Thalia, sure. Here's a human recruiter. I think we're pretty interested in Thalia here. That's the question, right? When are we going to get the vanilla one white, three one? Maybe it'll be a legend. A legend, like Isamaru was. That was the way for... Like, when Isamaru was printed, it was a 2-2 two -two for, for one mana. Oh my god, but it was legendary as a drawback, so... Alright, we draw a Knight Errant. Great draw. I mean, we're gonna offer an attack here. Let's play Thalia. Play Thalia. Looking to go Knight Errant. I mean, maybe next turn we draw land. We should go one drop Knight. It'd be insane, so... They have Gix in the play. Their mana is pretty awful, though. They named Phyrexian, and they have a Mirix, so... Alright, so this is fine. You should you draw land here pretty bad. We did not draw land. Alright, we're in trouble. Um, I guess we're just on the kill them plan. I'm just gonna play Copper Coat attack for six. Like... Their mana's bad, thankfully, so hopefully they just can't cast the spells they draw. But, yeah. Having the anti gix draw on the play, I mean, we, we missed the land drop, is pretty bad for us. For obvious reasons. Discarding a preacher they can't even cast. Inti will reveal a deep cavern bat they can't even cast. So again, the mana base is, is really helping us out here. Cavern of Souls Mirrors are not free to play. Draw cards, they go. We again don't draw land, but they're just going to screw. All right, so sure, that's 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 fine. We'll take it. Um, you know, I think that that was a weird game for sure. If we did, if they, if they had had land to cast spells, we'd definitely lose that game. But whatever, we'll take it. Got a match. Let's go. One drop, two drop, three drop. Keep. Forest. That'd be just, that'd be just domain, right? No, nobody plays basic forest anymore, right? Green's like probably the worst color in standard. So, basic forest. So I'll swap. Right, sure, that, that makes sense. Look, green, black. They've got no two drops. They definitely have our removal spell, like a hundred percent. Now the question is, do I want to try and play Indy or not? Playing or playing Indy now paves the way for Adeline next turn. We're gonna play the Indy, I think. Uh name human play anti they'll kill it it's fine we have a, a, a big curve here so that's true it's in the world souls combo so they, it's also a go for the throat and not a uh a cut down so very important in standard this is a really important thing to internalize uh when you're playing standard your opponent has a range of removal spells for example the black decks have cut down and go for the throat they want to use their cut downs on things that cut down can target and the go for the throat on the bigger things that can't be killed by cut down, right? Uh, so whenever your opponent kills a, a small thing with a go for the throat, that's a win for you. Like, book that. You know? That's good. Two mana up again this turn. They play a proving ground. And now we're kind of off the radar. Uh, it looks like another removal spell. So we could just go tap land officer attack. Because we, yeah, we don't want them to use a, a, a go for the throat on a high quality creature. I'm just going to do that. Could be a Jun root stack, maybe. I'm not sure what's going on here. We're playing a little conservative, but and nothing. Oh, we're off the map. Okay. Um, maybe they're just just domain like a really, really, really weird draw. That would suck for us, given how I play this game. But sure. All right, we're stalling. I guess whatever. They don't usually play go for the throat, but. Maybe one copy occasionally. We got a binding here. All right, yes. That that was so. That was the answer. So unfortunately, we didn't call a meeting. That's my mistake. Should have called a meeting and talked about this. Uh, yeah, because we played this game badly against Domain. We didn't know, obviously. He's a Mirix too. That's not fault. Yeah, we're in trouble. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're in big trouble. <laughs> All right. Here's a kite tail larcenist. Uh, so you can make this into a treasure. That's like actually bad though, right? It's just like 
do nothing and say go. This sucks. <laughs> All right. Here's double Mirix invasions at Nikar. So, I mean, this mana base is something uh, something fierce here, but... Uh, Still a piece of garbage. Could have been whack attacked? I mean, I guess. Like, I think putting a body in place better, but... There's a battle. We're probably super dead here, um, realistically. We draw an Inspector. They got two cards left. I think we're just going to jam. We're just going to play Inspector, play Knight Errant, and just, like, hope it out of a Wrath and try and get them like, next turn. Nine for two isn't even that good, but you want to draft that Evan Seven? Sure, we could do that. That's fun. It's all going to play, folks. Unfortunately, domain tests the theory of sort of like whenever you're really behind, you need to jam. Like we are playing everything here, and hoping they have, you know, not much because we are way behind. We can never beat an Atraxa or a, an Archangel of Wrath, so... Yeah, exactly. I mean, they tapped wrong, thankfully, because they can't binding. They didn't hit binding anyway. Say, so there's Domain. Yeah, sure. That's fine. Um, obviously, we would have played this game differently without their Domain, so... Say, uh, five cards. Yeah, we just can't. Uh, we have no outs here, right? We have no... Nothing to remove the Atraxa. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we can, we can, we can, we can, we, 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 we can Larcenist, right? If we draw a Larcenist, exactly. We have four, five, six, seven. So it's only attack for nine, though. We should, we should lose anyway. Yeah, I think we're just dead, but... A package. package. Mail's here. Oh, who's this from? Uh, it's covered, it's covered it up. Like, I think it's O-C-H-C-H-C. -C -C. Mail's here. All right, uh, we drew Indy. All right, that sucks. All right, so that's pretty shitty, unfortunately, but... GRCS. Mail's here. Um, I think we'll do, we'll do lunch, too. Do, 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 do. Yeah, um, Sweet. Alfredo? Yeah. Hell yeah. Nicole makes the most delicious freaking chicken Alfredo, like broccoli penne stuff. All right, so um, anyway, uh, we're bringing in invasions. We're bringing in destroy evils. Uh, we're going to cut... Honestly, Lars is really bad against them. Just probably cut all four Larsonists. And Specialist is also pretty bad against them. Loran is pretty good, actually. Bring a Loran. And it's just like pure, pure beatdown, pure race. I don't think you want to get lost. I think three get three 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 trables is enough. So let's try this. Play first. I mean, this is it. One, two, three on the play. Knight Errant is also not great against them, too, but. Alright, so Human. Hopeful initiate. Vanguard into Amon Pakal, a thousandth moon. That was a pretty good draw too, actually, destroy evil. So you really need to draw like a one, two, three curve with uh, maybe one of these. So. What can I cook? I used to cook a lot, cook a lot, cook a lot more. Obviously I, I live with Nicole, so I Nicole cooks and Nicole's very good at it, so. You know, uh, but I'm like an okay cook. We am gonna get a barbecue. So, pump the thing I would say go. They're almost dead on board, right? It's two, it's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and eleven. Yeah, they're just like dead. <laughs> like, uh, also they have double wrath in their hand. Uh,. So we have, we have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we're too short of killing them. And we're just going to cast an invasion and hope they don't have like double sunfall, double untap white source or whatever. Yo, Gabba Gabba. They have angel, angel, invasion, invasion. Sure. Uh, I think that probably does it. Do I flip the battle? It would cost me three less damage to flip it, but it would pump the entire team for a bigger attack next turn. They are going to cast an angel and kill something, so I get to kill my copper coat vanguard. Um, yeah. So let's attack everything here, but the initiate will go here. So training. Attack you, attack you. 
So we're going to go boom, 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 boom. They go to four. The battle flips. They have no mana for Sunfall. They can Angel, but it doesn't matter. I have a removal spell for the Angel. Pump the whole squad. Oh, that's funny. So this is a really funny uh, interaction. I remember, remember uh, discussing this when uh, Worlds was happening. So if you, for Adeline tokens and for Gnome tokens with Light Shield Array, they didn't actually attack. They were just put into play already attacking. And Light Shield, Light Shield Array cares about creatures that attacked this turn. It's a weird little, weird little, little rules loophole. So be aware of that one for sure. Uh, the sand's fine. Not as good as the last hand it was, but you can't mulligan it, so. I'd be in trouble here, honestly. Just like hands, like, too good, too bad to, or too good to. Not bad enough to mulligan, but. Not great either. We have one drop Thalia. We get Knight Errant, too, I guess. Alright, double Jun Triumph draws great for us. Let's draw an invasion. If I could flip it right now, I'd play it, but I'm just gonna play a Thalia. Which is obviously awkward with the invasion because, like, now I can't play it for two. I can't play it for three, but just Thalia attack for two. Alright, so they have a Stomper. Which are gonna get their first white. If they have second white, they still can't stomp all, so. The problem is, like, again, Knight is not great here. Uh, we can just, like, we're probably just gonna play with Knight, but. And then Thalia, yeah, this, this, this thing costs to flip also with Thalia too, so yeah, we're just gonna play with all this stuff. So, this is not ideal, but we're just gonna jam it all. They have to populate, so be it, but... Oh, no! We whiffed on the, or half whiffed on the, on, the, on the Knight Errant, that sucks. So next turn is probably just Invasion. We're gonna cycle Migration, okay. They get a forest, not a plains. They have second stopper. Okay. That's not bad. Um, play the battle, win the battle. Just hope they don't have anything else in their hand, really. Destroy Evil is good against their creatures. So, all right, we'll just pick and play the battle. So here's our battle. We can play it and win it through Thalia. Their hand is up the Beanstalk, Sunfall, Invasion. That's pretty good for us, actually. So their hand is not particularly great. Uh, invasion, Beanstalk... We are going to attack the battle, and then attack them. So we're going to pump our squad. They can't block yet. This is pretty good, actually. So, cast battle for one, because Thalia is in play. Relevant. And then end the turn, pump the squad, say go. They obviously have huge draws here. Uh, you know, they're drawing their Sunfall. I mean, so, Sunfall also just costs eight, right? So they, can still, they can still cast it. It's not gone forever. It's all thought sees. So, might still be just in trouble here, honestly. They, still, they, still, they can still Sunfall. So, four, eight. They're going to choose to attack the battle, though. So this means that the, uh, Sunfall, the road and stuff. They might just have us here, actually. Domain's so good. Like, why did it go away for so long, you know? Oh. Gross. Targeting the binding. I mean, targeting the array. That's actually... No, that's not that good. So we, we could destroy evil and, like, kill the binding and, and then light shield them array. But, like... That's just not... They don't have any cards in their hands, so... Alright, that sucks. Um, yeah. Damn, man. Uh, don't mean just too good. Alright. It's just, like, hard to find, like, a winning spot here. They have three, four, four Vigilance in play. All right, let's Inti. And I guess discard to destroy evil and just attack with like Thalia on Night Errant. If I attack with everything, what happens? They block probably the two smaller things. Take 
9 and go to 6, but then, like, it's so hard to attack them, so... Uh... Alright, so let's just do this. It's very hard to cast a story evil with, with freaking Thalia and Blay anyway, so I'm just gonna one of these. Just one of these. Creature Hunts get post on fall, too, so let's put a counter here. We hit another bit of a whack. Oh, I should have discarded that. Alright, so... Here's our attack. They're just gonna just gonna eat it. All right, so they're 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 casting Sunfall. That's their plan. Uh, that's not good for us. But we're not have much else going on. Things like this freaking Beanstalk too, though. So beans cost. F for some reason, it costs. Why is this showing the proper reduction? But this isn't. It's weird. Whatever. Play this, and we'll just say go. Crack a clue and step. They cast Sunfall. Can they cast the beans for three? And then Sunfall for eight? They need a mana to do that. Sunfall costs eight. So they can't play beans first. Great. This Dahlia is taxing both Sunfall and beans. So, this is shitty, but, like, they don't have much left, honestly. 15's a lot, though. They have a 6-6-2, six, six, I guess. Oh, man. Yeah, we're just dead, I think. Oh my god, come on. Oh, Alright, so... We can bivouac them and get him for three. We can destroy with a token. Uh, but it doesn't really matter that much, you know? It will matter, eventually. Take six. God, that smells good. Another land? Come on! <laughs> Too many, apparently. Um, I mean, so much such act with this. We can just destroy the token. They got one card left. You know, like... Suppose that they, like, brick for a turn or two. Just kidding. Just kidding. I was kidding. Uh, alright. So, whatever. And a white. They have to do... They gotta build a house here. That's how many bricks they gotta hit. Um, alright. So, this is dead. So, it's literally a bivouac versus the world here. If they draw, like, the problem is half their lands are just, like, cycling lands anyway, too, so it's so hard to lose them a spot. The domain late game is, like, just ridiculous. That was a good draw. Alright. Um, Bivouac. That actually, like, if they, now we actually have a clock, so they, they, if they break... No, it's at the Mirix, you son of a bitch! I'm really glad I have a Mirix on tap. That's great. Really glad I have a Mirix on tap. That's good. That's really good. That's great. That's a good one. Thanks. Appreciate that. That was an attack for like five. five. And a token. It might have not matter. I mean, I might have thought about that, about, about, that, about that block more if uh, if I hadn't been tilting off there. Not that this card sees much play, honestly, but... I mean, you were land for, for the rub-ins, too. That's just disgusting. All right, whatever. Screw you. All right. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We missed out on... What? Yeah, four points of damage. And then I might not attack with the, with the thing also. All right, whatever. It's fine. <sighs> so look at our stats. Arena is obsessed with Mirix. It will literally never tap your Mirix. Ever. Never tap a Mirix in a million years. Uh, uh, just never tap it. Just never wants to tap a Mirix ever. Uh, deck seems pretty cool. I wish the curve was a little lower, honestly. Uh, I'm also not convinced that Lars is even, like, even that, like, good in this format. It's, like, good against a lot of decks, but, like, against specifically Domain and the combo decks. I guess it's good against the, the Nissus and the comp and the ramp deck and stuff, too. Uh, but yeah, deck does seem sweet. Um, I just want more cheap creatures. I wish, was another, I wish there was, like, one more good one drop, you know? Uh, but yeah, if you're a, if you're a human enjoyer, it's pretty sweet. So, cool. YouTube folks, love you. Like, I'm subscribe. Real great. Peace.